The Golden State Warriors are yet again slowly kind of building that bench unit by actually recently signing Kent Bazemore to a one-year deal. This is all being reported by Shams. What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. Before I get into this all, I just want to give out a quick shout-out to whoever was in my comments now. I actually said that the Golden State Warriors should sign Kent Bazemore because... Whoever that person was, you know who you are. Uh, if you're watching this, you kind of predicted this before everyone did. And I honestly believe this was a really good signing. And I, I actually think that this is what exactly the Warriors do need to do. Considering the loss of Clay Thompson with the Golden State Warriors and the lack of bench depth that they really had in the previous season, I do feel like the main goal that they should be going out and doing is getting the... 6 to 15s man, you know, and getting that rotation to be, you know, up to scratch of what a lot of these contending teams have actually got. For example, now Kent Bazemore will come off the bench and be that shooting guard slash small forward player. I doubt he will start, but he definitely could start a couple games here and there throughout the season, especially if there are, you know, injuries. But also, you know, they have signed a couple other players. For example, the Golden State Warriors did actually sign Brad Wanamaker, who will be now their new backup point guard for the team. I believe he could be like a ninth man for the team as well. Kent Bazemore could definitely be like an eighth to tenth man. I still feel like they do need to get that real natural backup six man for the team. I'm not exactly too sure who that's going to be. There's not too many players available right now for the Golden State Warriors to potentially sign that could really be that six man. But yeah, there are still other free agents out there that I definitely feel like the Warriors need to go out and get. For example, there are reports out there that are saying that Warriors could be interested in DeMarcus Cousins, bringing him back to the team. Of course, I believe I'll be making a you know, separate and different video on that. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for that one. But yeah, I feel like DeMarcus Cousins could definitely start off by being a 10th to 15th man, but could develop into being a 6th man here and there as well. Um, especially if he can get off his injuries, but... Yeah, I still feel like that the Golden State Warriors are still looking for that guy. And I don't know who that guy is really going to be, but I do feel like the you know the Warriors could potentially get him, whether that's through signing a player or maybe even going out and trading for a decent six-man. A lot of people actually don't remember this as well, but Ken Bazemore actually played for the Golden State Warriors previously from 2012 to 14. I actually forgot about this, but when I was researching some things to make this video, I actually saw and I was like, oh yeah, he did actually used to play for the Golden State Warriors. Went into the team as an undrafted free agent again from 2012 to 14, and now in 2020, he's back. A lot of people also feel like, you know, and think that Ken Bazemore is really old. He's actually only 31 years of age, so I definitely feel like he could be a bench player, you know, you know a nice bench player for this season, and maybe even a couple seasons to come if they do like him and if he does potentially show what he's got. But again, this is another really good signing by the Golden State Warriors. I'm just extremely intrigued to see who they're, you know, going to go and get for the team as well. I'm still not exactly too sure. Again, I do feel like they need that six man, but if you think about it realistically as well, the Golden State Warriors have now filled in their backup point guard, their backup shooting guard, they've got their backup power forward in Eric Pascal, I think they still need to get a backup center, but I wouldn't be surprised if they brought back DeMarcus Cousins to play that role. And they definitely need a backup small forward. But you know, with Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre being on the team, and they'll be playing a lot of heavy minutes at small forward. You know, again, especially when Oubre goes to the bench, then Wiggins will play the small forward position. And then obviously they'll have guards to kind of fill in on the shooting guard, you know, kind of position and role for the team. For example, not only do they have Kent Bazemore, but they also have Jordan Poole, who's currently chilling out as like a 10th slash 11th man on the roster right now. So of course, that is actually pretty good for them. I do actually really like this by the Warriors. You know, not only are they bringing in these nice veteran players, but they are keeping intact their relatively young core with a couple nice young players like... Kelly Oubre Jr. is under 25. Andrew Wiggins is, I believe, 25 or under. John Poole is under 25. Uh, Eric Pascal is under 25. Um, and again, obviously, James Wiseman, who's now going to be their new starting center, I believe. He's obviously 19 years of age or whatever. So, again, they do actually have a really nice young core building over there at the Golden State Warriors as well. But they do need to find that kind of balance of what players they are going to get to, of course, come off the bench. 
Kent Bazemore is a really good signing. Brad Wanamaker is a pretty good signing as well. But yeah, I feel like they do need that backup center and they do need that backup small forward. One backup small forward that I'm actually kind of suggesting that I would really like for the team would be, um, you know, maybe one of the Holiday brothers. I can't actually remember if Justin Holiday was signed or not by the Indiana Pacers. I believe he might have actually re-signed, but I could actually be wrong on that. Actually, yeah, he has agreed to a three-year deal. So, you know, he won't be available, but I, I feel like you guys, you know, get what I mean. A small forward like him who is a very nice defensive player that can definitely hit the three ball would be really good for the Golden State Warriors. And that's just what I definitely feel like they should. Aaron Holiday, I feel like, could be available. He's not really a small forward, but again, he could be a nice backup guard to potentially bring onto the team. But yeah, that small forward and center position should definitely be a focus for them. Again, the Cleveland Cavaliers who just traded for JaVel McGee. I feel like bringing JaVel McGee, who's on a very cheap contract, about $5 million, would be a nice player to bring in for that backup center. I do know they do have Kavan Looney, but if they can get rid of Kavan Looney in his contract, that would be a massive win for the you know Golden State Warriors as he has barely played in quite a bit. He's struggled with so many injuries, and I just don't really feel like he fits with this team. And again, JaVel McGee, who's been a lot better since you know leaving the Warriors. If I was the Warriors, I would honestly see if JaVel, you know, talk to him about it, and then obviously offer the Cavaliers maybe Kavan Looney and a couple of second round picks or something to bring in JaVale McGee to the team. Then they get rid of Looney and his bad contract, of course, barely even plays, and when he gets on the court, he hasn't been that good recently, and they only have to do that for a couple second round picks while bringing in a quality center in JaVale McGee. That would still be a very good decision by, you know, I believe the Golden State Warriors. There are definitely other players out there that you could go and get. I know this might be sounding weird, and I am a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, but another player off the top of my head who's just been traded from the Cavs as well was Alfonso McKinney, who used to play for the Golden State Warriors. He's a very underrated 3 and D type of small forward that I feel like a you know team like the Golden State Warriors, if he does get waived, they should definitely try and capitalize on a player like him. And if he doesn't get waived, they did actually acquire quite a bit of second round picks from the Philadelphia 76ers when they traded away Alec Burks, and I believe it was Jacob Evans. So, if they can, you know, use those second round picks to bring in a player like Alfonso McKinney, then they are definitely heading onto the right track. So, it is a work in progress kind of situation right now for the Golden State Warriors. How they go about this is really all up to them. I feel like they will be a nice playoff team and could definitely make it to the second round. I just don't know if they're going to be able to make it to the conference finals or finals, for that matter, without Clay Thompson. But I do feel like they haven't really changed the way they were building this team now that Clay's, you know, obviously injured and, I believe, out for the season. They have kind of stick, stuck to this where they brought in James Wiseman as their new center. They have brought in, you know, Kent Bazemore, Brad Wanamaker, um, and obviously Kelly Oubre Jr. to be very, very good players in their rotation now and again the next step for them is just to really go out and of course bring in those more type of role plays again some players that i would say would be players like justin holiday those really nice small forwards and maybe even a center like javel mcgee who might still actually be available for trade if the cleveland cavaliers decide to move on from him but anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest nba content in all the latest NBA news. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for all that stuff right there. Again, leave a like, but also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MIRO slash long channels. And don't forget to, of course, check out my podcast down below as well. And the main thing is, I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this signing down below. Do you guys think the Golden State Warriors signing Kent Bazemore was actually a really good idea? Do you guys think it was a bad idea? Or do you guys think they should go after other role players? And if so, what are those role players they should potentially go out and sign? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, as I was saying, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.